Hi, I'm Stephen Cronin. Thanks for joining me again. Um, this today's painting, I, I just made this one up as I, as I went along. Um, I wanted to do another coastal scene. Um, wasn't happy with it at the halfway stage, so I sort of dried it, re-wet it, and then put another layer on the top of it to try and create more mood and, and atmosphere. I'm trying to retain the, the, the light areas and the dark areas. Um, and in the end, I was I was I was quite happy with it as it uh, as it turned out. So um, let me show you how I painted this one. Let's get going then. Just clean water. And then I'm going to go. Um, a bit of light red. We'll see you now. Let's see what that looks like. Something like that. A bit of ultramarine, so light, light red ultramarine. More light red. It's just putting that right way down to the bottom. And I'm back up the top again. I'm doing light red. So I'm sticking with the same two and ultramarine. Yeah, a little bit darker. It's clean the brush. I want to throw a different colour in there, which we go with. Sort of orangey colour. Let's bring the lemon yellow into play, I think. I'm doing a bit of red, a bit of lemon yellow. Sort of orangey. Not on this side. A bit of blue in there as well. Mixing those same colours. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring some clouds right out there. Take it all the way over. And it's getting narrower and narrower towards the horizon line. Give it a paint grey in there as well, I think. Bit of blue, bit of grey. Just darken that up there. Just want to get a little bit of texture in the sky. Right, let's get someone in the sky. Right, so I've done that just in one big. I'm just trying to break it up slightly. Um, no, I've just made that a total mess, haven't I? So let's get some land in there. Get some land. Bit of red, bit of blue. Coming down there like that, something like that. And then we're up there. I'm just going to scrape in. I'm just going to flat against the board first before I start scraping with the. Uh, Piece of card. Let's get a. Just want to get a few rocks in there. Distant. Distant rocks. Still quite wet at the moment.
Not with the card. No. Watching where the paint was sort of dripping down. That could drop. Something. Let's see what I've got here. Let's bring this down here, something like that. Get this in quite dark now, so push that in over that side as well. It's a bit of red, a bit of blue. Yeah, you know, quick try. This, you know, I haven't quite blended it in how I want it to. I'm just going to see what, what happens when I, when I do this. orangey sky colour into the water. So there's a bit of red, there's a bit of yellow.
grain on it, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna re-wet it and I'm gonna add a few more washes and just, just see what I can bring. Try and liven it up a bit maybe. It's a bit more yellow there. I'm just going light red, um, lemon yellow. Bring that down there. Into the water area. Clouds and Again, to in style background. Edge over slightly into this the lighter edge. Just trying to make that together. Get this flat against there. I think it's looking a bit more dramatic. Um, I need to go and start the back of the room, see what it looks like from there, and then from this side. Um, what I do need, I was wondering if I just leave that as a dark mass or scrape a few, scrape a few little sort of sort of rocks into there. I don't, I don't want to get too mad with that. Um, I'm just going to put a big boat there. Give that a quick drive. So I want to go quite dark, I want it to sort of silhouette against that dark land mass. I'm just doing a bit of brown, a bit of blue, a bit of red in there as well. Um, 
I'm just going to put him somewhere, put him somewhere there. to go right there so you can see so I might have to make the face a little bit bigger a little bit longer no, right, I'm just going to pop the reflection in there so I'm just doing the same again just, just upside down Down. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, I think. Just have a little grab a seagull somewhere. Yeah. I don't want to do it, I don't like to do it next to, near, next to the focal point. It's quite dark over here, so I'm going to have to make it fairly dark to show up. Let's see what that looks like with the mains on it. So here's the finished painting in the mains. So if you're going to have a closer look, so I'd say this was done in two layers really. The the first um, layer, I wasn't really happy with it. You know, days by gone by, I might have just have left it like that. But I think I think you get a little bit more critical of your work as as you get more experience. And I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a better job, so I just rewet the whole thing and then put another layer on. I think the more layer, you don't even have to stop at two. You could do three layers, four layers, and you just constantly add, add in depth and mood and atmosphere. As long as you keep, as long as you've got like light areas contrasting with dark areas, you can put as many layers on as you want. Just don't sort of block it all in so you just end up with one massive dark mass. So this sort of orangey glow in the sky, that was uh, uh, lemon yellow and light red. Um, and then, oh, I kept the same, all I then added was a bit more light red, a bit more... Um, Ultramarine, often add ultramarine if you want to darken the mix. Probably a little bit of Payne's grain there as well, somewhere. Tried to create loads of texture in this sky. Took uh, some little white clouds out as well with the uh, tissue. And then, so deliberately kept it light down the bottom so that the profile of this foreground uh, mountain would stand out a little bit better. My looks, I've kept it a bit too smooth. I mean, a little bit more jagged, I think, would have. Uh, would have looked better, I'll, I'll remember that for next time. Did do some, some subtle, as subtle as I could do, um, little rocks there on the mountain side with the, with the card. And then this land, like I say, a couple of washes really, just get this sort of misty, hazy, lighty tone. And then a little bit darker down below, scraped in some rocks there. You see the light just catching them on the right hand side with the shadows on the left. And then reflected in the water as well. So you've got the water, this sort of narrow strip at the bottom, dark reflection from the mountain side there. And then got some of that orangey glow from the sky into the water down below. It needed a focal point, so I just very, very simply using a little flat brush, put this boat in, push the mass right up to the lit area above so it stood out, and then just reflected down below. 
and then finally just popped a few little birds up in the sky dancing around the clouds. Um, incidentally hares now, I'll, I'll just leave them there, I'll just leave them as part of the painting, I don't even worry about them now. I think it's uh, it's one of the things about using the hake brush really, you, you're going to lose hairs, I've given up worrying about it. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoy that, thanks for watching, any questions please don't hesitate to ask, keep practising and I'll see you again soon.